Welcome to the GoToTraining Quick Start. In this video, we will be covering the quick steps to get your training scheduled and get your invitations sent out to your attendees. To schedule your training, begin at GoToTraining.com and click the Sign In button in the top right corner and enter your login information. Once you are logged in, you will be taken to the My Trainings page. This will display all of the training sessions you already have scheduled. To schedule a new training, click the Create a Training button. Here is where you will provide a title for your training as well as a description. The description is a great place to put things such as the goal of the training and what outcomes you as well as the trainees can expect. Below the description is where you indicate the date and time of the training session. You will select if this will be a recurring meeting from the drop down and you can have your training occur once, weekly, monthly or on a custom schedule. Clicking the calendar icon allows you to modify the date of the training. You will also select the time of the training. If you have already scheduled one training, you can always select Add Another Session to create a similar session. Confirm you have the correct time zone selected, and when you're satisfied, click on Schedule. Once you click the Schedule button, you'll be taken to the Manage Training page. This is where you can make modifications to what you've already set for the session and add further customization. You can edit the title and description, the date and time, as well as your audio options. Your audio options are set by default on your account, either on the settings link, if you're an individual user of GoToTraining, or they are set by your account administrator if you are a corporate user. Further down the page, you can modify the registration process for your attendees by deciding how many people can register, how they receive their confirmation, what questions they should answer, including the ability to create your own registration questions, and you can also opt to set up a payment for attendees who join your training. You can upload materials for your attendees to review before, during, or after a session. You can also modify tests, which again, you can make available before, during, and after the training. You can add polling questions to interact with your attendees during the session. Build an after session evaluation. And up here, you can modify the email notifications that go out to your attendees. You can invite attendees to register for your session in a few different ways. From the top of the Manage Training page, click the Share button, and you can select Email. This will automatically pop open an email for you, using the default email client, to send out to people who you want to register for the training. Alternatively, you can select Copy Training Information and can copy some or all of this information and either post it on a website, put it in a newsletter, create a calendar invitation, or again, send it via email. One other option is to post it to the course catalog. In order to utilize the course catalog, it needs to be enabled first. Select Create New Catalog and enter a title and a description. Once you are satisfied, select Save. To adjust your course catalog, select Edit next to Catalog and make sure that it is selected for publication. On the top left, select Catalogs. Here you have the option to share your catalog link or post your catalog to Twitter, Facebook, or LinkedIn. Select Preview to view what the catalog contains and what it looks like. Thank you for viewing this GoToTraining Quick Start.